You're ready. When you step off the plane, your every sense is overwhelmed. The first thing you notice is the heat. It's the air is thick and sticky, and immediately you want to strip off your sweatshirt that you had on while you were flying. The second thing you notice is the smell. It's a thick, acrid smell, a combination of charcoal burning, sugarcane being distilled into rum, and diesel fuel exhaust from cars, motorcycles, and tap taps. As you adjust to the smell, your eyes start to take in the tropical foliage surrounding the urban squalor before you, and your ears start to adjust to the lilting melody of Creole being spoken all around you. Stepping off the plane in Port-au-Prince, Haiti is overwhelming, and it's an assault on the senses, but it's one that I welcome every time I go to Haiti. I've been to Haiti three times, and each time I go, I fall more in love with the country and the Haitian people. According to the World Factbook, published by the CIA, Haiti is the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere. 80% of the population lives below the poverty line, and 54% of the population lives in abject poverty. 40% of the population is chronically unemployed, and about two-thirds of the population does not have a form of steady job. Because the population is so poor, there's hundreds of organ charitable organizations that work to improve the lives of the Haitian people. One such organization is Empowering Haiti, a nonprofit organization that was founded here in Wichita by a group of friends. Since 2010, I've been to Lambert three times with Empowering Haiti, and each trip has been a valuable learning experience. I've been able to do charity work with a reputable nonprofit organization, have helped to provide basic medical care to those who desperately need it, and have formed friendships that will last a life. <coughs> Empowering Haiti was officially formed in 2010, but it has its beginnings many, many years earlier. According to their website, their goal is to help the people of Haiti without robbing them of their dignity or their sense of value. It was founded by a group of people, including Stan and Gail Kaffer and Rod and Ann Willis, who've been going to Haiti for many years with a different organization. But they, they have become dissatisfied with the structure of the organization and disillusioned by their lack of impact. So they decided to form a new organization that worked directly with the council leaders and not just with the religious leaders of the community. Empowering Haiti was work, formed specifically to work with the community council of Lambert to help meet the needs of the community as determined by the community itself. They focus on what they feel to be the three main needs of the community. Basic medical care, improved socioeconomic status, and education. To address the need of basic medical care, Empowering Haiti employs a local Haitian doctor and a nurse who work full-time in a new me community medical building that was opened in 2012. They also sponsor an annual medical mission trip, which I've had the opportunity to go on twice. To improve the socioeconomic status of the community, they sponsor an all-female micro-lending program. There's over 50 women in the program today and they get small business loans of less than $100, which they use to start their own business, and then they use the profit from that business to help feed their families and send their children to school. To make education more readily available to the children of the Lambert community, they sponsor the Lambert Secondary School by paying the teacher's salary and su sending supplies to the school. They also um, help to raise funds to make, it possible to make scholarships available to students who can't afford the tuition. I've been uniquely blessed with the opportunity to go to Haiti three times. Two of those times have been with Empowering Haiti's annual medical mission trip, which you can see here. Um, every year in May for a week, doctors from the Wichita area and nurses from the Wichita area volunteer their time to see patients in Lambert free of charge and to provide them with prescription medicines that are collected here in the state. At all throughout the year, Empowering Haiti works with local hospitals and local um, medical practices to collect prescription medicines and medical supplies, which are then carefully packaged and shipped, well, flown to Haiti with the people who are going. And we set up a clinic that allow, um, allows us to see patients, like this child here who was infected, tinea capita, such as ringworm, and we see them free of charge and provide them with their medicines free of charge. One thing we also do is provide um, a multivitamin to, for uh, about a month's worth of multivitamins to every patient that comes to see us because the people of the Lambert community uh, suffer from undernutrition and a vitamin deficiency, particularly iron deficiency, which leads to anemia. 
Um, as a volunteer, I help the doctors and nurses to see as many patients as possible. I um, register patients, fill out charts, and help with medical procedures. Um, my favorite thing about going to Haiti is the friendships that I've formed. Pastor Fred is the pastor of the Baptist Church and the head of the Community Council. He's one of the most humble and caring men that I've ever had the fortune of knowing. He's deeply committed to his community and to his people, and <coughs> it's a joy to work with him. My friend Patrick is our head translator. He makes it possible for us to communicate with the people that we work with. Mackinson is a former patient who, because of funds raised by Empowering Haiti, was able to have a life-saving leg amputation surgery, and now he works as one of the translators during the week in May. Um, as wonderful as it is to be friends with Patrick and Mackinson and Fred, my favorite part of going to Haiti is being able to spend time with local children. Um, these children capture my heart and remind me that even in the midst of abject poverty, there is hope and joy. And they are the reason that I go to Haiti every year. Um, it's a unique opportunity and a wonderful blessing to be able to help people who live in such different circumstances than we do. And I have been so uniquely blessed to be able to go to Haiti.